Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Or if this is your first time here, hi, I'm Tess Lark, and this is an art and beauty channel. So if those are videos you're interested in, please make sure you subscribe because I'm here for you every single week with either a craft, a DIY, a review, things like that. So if those are things you're interested in, make sure you're subscribed and let's hang out. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make these really cute resin candle holders. And if you find some value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a like. It helps out my channel a lot and it's free. So hit that button. For today's project, I'm gonna be using a casting and coating resin by Naked Fusion. And I'll go ahead and list all of the materials that I use in the description down below. So if anybody's interested, that will all be there. I'm also gonna be using some glitter as well as some pigment powder by Prolex some alcohol ink i'm using baja blue and also sapphire blue and then i'll also be using white by pinata colors as well as red and brown alcohol ink from let's resin and i pre-mixed my resin um, in advance just to save us some time for this video but i'll show you how i mix my colors i'll also link the molds that i'm using down below as well as all these little silicone cups that i've been using Find it's really nice you can clean them out pretty easily and then use them again and again I think I might be a little heavy-handed when it comes to adding the pigments and glitter to my resin I just really want the colors to be really solid and vibrant and the rule of thumb is about 90% um, resin to 10% either glitter or alcohol ink before the resin won't set correctly. So that really kind of gives you some good freedom to load up a lot of color and get some really nice results. And I asked you what color I should make this in my Instagram stories, and the majority of people said blue. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a blue one, but I also personally was hoping that you guys would wanna see a red one because I haven't made a red one yet. So I will be making one blue and one red. And I'm also gonna experiment a little bit with uh, the opacity of the color. So for the blue, I'm not gonna add any white just to leave it pretty transparent, but for the red, I think I'll add a little bit of white um, so it's a bit more opaque.
editing test here. I don't know what happened, but I totally lost the process on this blue one. So luckily we're doing two today and I will show you the process for the red one. When I make these, the process is always the same. So unfortunately I can just show you the red one, but I guess that's okay for time's sake anyway. So I'm starting out by pouring my color in, which in this case is red. And I'm just going to pour that in until I can kind of start to see it on the sides. Sometimes I'll use my popsicle stick to push the center of the mold down. Just so, um, this mold is beautiful, but it's a little bit tricky just because you kind of have to move pretty slowly so that the resin doesn't just spill over the sides of the mold. Because it's kind of a small space for, for the resin to pour down into. And then I'm just gently tilting my mold to try to make sure that that red is dispersed in there evenly. Like if you can see kind of further away from the camera, you can see a bit of the red in the lower petals. And I just wanted to make sure that that was even. And then next I'll go in with my clear and just start pouring a little bit of clear resin in. And I find that this just helps kind of make some cool patterns in the resin. So I like to just put a little bit of clear resin after I do my primary color. And then next I'll be pouring in the white. And then I like to pour the white until I can see it in the majority of the petals. Just to make sure everything's full. Pose says hi. Again, just moving pretty slowly to make sure that the resin doesn't spill over the sides of the mold and give it all time to settle down into there, especially as I get towards the end because you don't want it to overflow. So just moving slowly, pouring in that white. And then after the white, I will go ahead and pour a little bit more clear resin and then finish it off with the glitter. Okay, so I let the candle holders cure overnight and they're ready to come out of our mold. So let's just pull them out and see how they look. So I'm really happy with how these turned out. I think that why I'm getting like this really cool pattern with the white coming through is that with this one, I added some white to the red so it would be a little bit more opaque. And with this one, I just left the blue as it was. So it's a little bit more translucent and you get this like really cool pattern with the white coming through. So to finish these up, I, I like to take a paint pen and just go around this like middle edge here. I think it just adds some dimension. It looks pretty cool. And the paint pen that I'm using is by Deco Color and it is their premium color. It's an oil-based metallic paint marker in gold. So just right here on this edge, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill that in in gold. Just like that. All 
right, so these are all finished up and I think that they turned out really cute. I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Um, they make just like nice little candle holders or trinket dish, maybe for some change or rings, things like that. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm here for you every week with either a arts and crafts video or a beauty review, some sort of DIY. It's always a good time, so I hope that you will hang out next time and I will see you next week. Bye! Oh, 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 oh,